In Britain and worldwide, the suppression of an essential debate. It is the relationship between the current economy and the destruction of the earth. It is effectively kept off limits by, first of all, the people who most run the economy, financial and commercial top interests. And they are supported by the mainstream media almost entirely. For way too long, the politicians and the people in power have gotten away with not doing anything at all to fight the climate crisis and the ecological crisis. But we will make sure that they will not get away with it any longer. This economy has to be replaced by a very different one, which has two aims. One is the care and regeneration of the earth, and the other is the common good of all the people, with no one excluded. Nothing is being done to, to stop the climate and the ecological crisis, despite all the beautiful words and promises. Never-ending growth on a finite earth was never a starter. The more we are using, the less we are leaving. The people in the Extinction Rebellion and the children's school struggle for the climate, we are the ones making a difference. It shouldn't be like that, but since no one else is doing anything, we will have to do so. My longing is for my grandchildren and their descendants, for their well-being, their security, and that is never going to leave me, and I'm sure it's not going to leave you. Humanity is now standing at a crossroads. We must now decide which path we want to take. How do we want the future living conditions for all species to be like? We have chosen which path we want to take, and now we are waiting for the others to follow our example. They have the power, but we have something much more important. We have the authority. And it's the authority that's based on love and truth. We will never stop fighting for this planet and for ourselves, our futures, and for the futures of our children and grandchildren. Bless you all.